James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 14th, 2023, 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We're looking at Earth's electromagnetic shield here. It's like we've had activity starting at about 12 UTC time, which would be right around 3 a.m. That seems to be increasing to present time. Uh, we're just at 1800 UTC time here. Uh, we see that the electromagnetic shield has spiked up to what looks like just about 300 hertz and maybe above that in some instances. Usually when we see this, we see a large response from our Schumann residents. Let's take a look. All right, we're spiking off the charts here. These charts end at 105 hertz. Notice the geophone hits. Absolutely huge. Now remember, the Schumann resonance never spiked over 37 hertz until 2017. We've been steadily seeing the Schumann resonance spike harder and harder and higher and higher since 2017, first breaking 100 hertz, most recently breaking 200 hertz. Now, I believe this is due to our atmosphere and our cavity collapsing. Now, I'm going to attempt to show you that again today. Looking at a six day comparison, we can see the activity started just after 12 UTC time. We had a little bit of action, but nothing unusual. And then we had spikes off the charts. These charts end at 50 hertz. Again, why? Because they weren't expecting spikes over 37 hertz when these models were built. We've seen activity over the last three days. Again, this is a six-day comparison. We had very little activity prior to that, but our shields were strong at that point, whereas now they're very weak, as I will show you very shortly. Right, you're looking at our geophone hourly strips. Each line is an hour cut up into 15 minute increments. Now, this would be great information if it was up to date, but this is 1500 UTC time ending at 1600 UTC time right here. So we're missing about two hours of geophone activity here. Looking at our amplitudes, we can see the spiking yesterday started just after 1200 UTC time and really got going around 20 to 22 UTC time here. We're seeing something similar here. Uh, activity starting just after 12 UTC time and it seems to be increasing as well. Now, this is being picked up by our geophones, our ULF sensors, our ELF sensors, and our second SR frequency that dips when it is indicating that there is an event ongoing. Now, a lot of people want to blame CERN for this. The LHC at CERN has been offline for over 60 days. They had a leak, supposedly, in the Large Hydron Collider, and it's not expected to even have a beam until the first half of September, according to the notes here. So I don't think that CERN would be the agitator for the Schumann residence spiking. Next, we'll look at space weather. Just as yesterday, we have no space weather activity whatsoever on any of our KP indexes, an indication of both solar winds and or plasma. We're seeing very low levels of KP index, which means we have no solar activity striking Earth currently. Now, I do believe we've found the agitator, and it's the same agitator we had yesterday. There seems to be a lightning storm right over the area where the model is located, which is going to be right here. You can see that this either just went over, it looks like it's heading south, and we've had thunderstorms ongoing around the modeling station right here. So this could get more intense or less intense depending on additional lightning storms in the area. Now that we have it moving, we can see the station here and 
all of the heavy storms moving directly towards it. This means that the Schumann resonance will intensify as the day goes on. We may even see record record spike in the Schumann resonance. Let's go figure out why all of a sudden, since 2017, we've seen increasing spiking in our Schumann resonance. I want to start out with our magnetometers. This shows you that our magnetosphere is in the negative here. And we're highly negative, as you can see. If the magnetosphere was in the positive, we wouldn't see these large Schumann spikes. You can verify that yourself any time that you're not seeing them and there's lightning in the area. This magnetometer will be somewhere here in the positive. Now there's an additional model we can take a look at for verification. This is our BZ model and we can also see that we're way into the negative or the south with our electromagnetic shield here at negative 2.47 and we have been for at least the last two hours plus which matches up directly with the Schumann resonance spiking. So those two factors, one tells you that our magnetosphere is weakening, the other tells you that the cavity is collapsing. Now what I've read is, is these lightning storms bounce off the D region when they used to go through the D region and bounce off the E or F region of our atmosphere return to the geophones stronger, causing these larger spikes in the geophones. Thus, the spiking on the model increases as our magnetosphere and cavity actually dissipate. All right, taking a last look at our Schumann resonance here, we can see that it started up all of a sudden. Agitator lightning storms in the area. Reason for heavy spiking, our magnetosphere and our cavity is dissipating. This should continue and spikes should continue higher. Remember again, spikes were never seen over 37 hertz until 2017. And since then, we've seen new records almost every single year. This is an ongoing event. And based on the direction of the lightning storm, it will continue through the afternoon. Let me know if you're able to sense these events and if so, how they affect you. Definitely activity within the cavity of our magnetosphere. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.